The Amazon rainforest is full of animals, and every animal has a scientific name. Harpy eagle is Harpia harpia. Cayman is Cayman crocodilus. Macaw is Ara masau. All animals have a scientific name and their own secret creature powers. Did you notice this praying mantis has tiger stripes? Wow! I can't wait to see what power Litter Goose Cratorum has. Yeah. Litter Goose Cratorum? Litter Goose Cratorum, like all scientific names, is in the Latin language. So why not have a party that celebrates with Latin music? <laughs> Do the praying mantis! You thinking what I'm thinking? You don't even have to ask. I'm thinking what you're thinking, brother. <laughs> Today's creature adventure is to, to meet, meet our, our new, new little, little bug brother. brother. Let's get geared up and get going. Okay, what do we know about El Cratorum? Well, we know our namesake is a bark mantid and lives on smooth bark trees. Like this one. Wow, that's a lot of bark to cover. And Litter Goose Cretorum is only this big, just over three centimeters long, and camouflaged to blend into that bark. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I think we're thinking the same thing. I think so, too. I have no idea what you two are thinking. Think you could fill me in? We won't find these mantids unless we're small. We've got to get on their level to find them. We've got to get mini size. Oops. <laughs> and how many times has that backfired on us? Too many. <laughs> that should do it. Watch out! Whoa! Maybe being mini and riding bus bikes isn't such a good idea. Yeah, we're like little bugs. Whoa, being mini is a pretty crazy thing to do if you're looking for a bug hunter. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Our praying mantis hunts bugs. <gasps> We've been found by the mantis we're looking for. <laughs> Hello, Litter Goose Cratorum. It's us, the Crat Brothers. I'm Martin. I'm Chris, and I've heard about some praying mantises eating their mates, but not about eating the guys you're named after. Hmm, let's see what the scan shows. I wouldn't count on it. You're in the arms of a hungry predator. Nice triangular head you got there, and your eyes are big and round. Yeah, and this mantis is really long and skinny. Greenish body with brown stripes. This mantis species is a runner. Whoa! Not a sit and wait hunter. Our mantis runs down his food. Kind of like the cheetah of the mantis world. I've never had such a good view of praying mantis mouth parts. The jaw like structures are impressive. Uh, Chris, remember, you're the prey. Those mouth parts are designed to eat you. Ah! Hurry, Aviva! Quick! Programming complete. Coming at ya! Activate Litter Goose Cratorum powers! Miniaturize! Let's go to the Archerfish Pool! Yeah! Now, where is that little archer fish? There! I think he's looking at something. A beetle, 12 o'clock high. Whoa! Incredible! A fish that shoots water arrows to catch his food. Water Arrow. Oh, that's what I'm gonna name this guy. 
arrow. Oh, wow. Now that's my kind of archery. Creature archery. Martin, that's what I need to learn. I need to learn the art of archer fishery from an archer fish. Ooh. Chris! Um, okay, lesson one. Anything bug size is a potential target for a hungry archer fish. Yeah, maybe shrink it down into the archer fish world. <laughs> Wasn't the best idea. Whoa! What? And slippery! Hang on! You gotta hang on! Or we'll be his next meal! Ah! Now this is more like it. fish sized and underwater. And at least he can't eat us. Hey, Arrow! Teach me your craft, oh great archery master! Check it out. That little guy wants to learn too. Sure, young archer fish become better at archery just by watching the bigger fish. Well, there you go. It's not all instinct, not all natural born skills. Animals have to learn how to use their creature powers, even some fish. And they have to practice. Cricket, that's the next target. Quick, 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 the slow motion camera. Yeah, camera ready, aim. And launch! Oh, yeah, right on, Arrow! Uploading slow motion instant replay. Okay, first things first. An archer fish can spit water arrows with accuracy from almost any angle. When he's ready, he locks down his gills and sucks in the water. Next, he aims and shapes his mouth for the perfect water glob shape. And then he lets it rip. Check it out. It starts as a short stream of water, and then the back end of the water catches up to the front end to form a powerful glob by the time it reaches the target. Then, pow! It hits with max power and force, knocking the bug into the water. Wow! The shape of the mouth. That's one of the keys. That controls how the water moves to make it form a glob in midair. And check it out. He has to figure in the force of gravity and the distance to achieve perfect accuracy. Oh boy, this is gonna take practice. Lots of practice. I really need that suit. Well, Chris, look. We're right in the middle of an archer fish school. Archer fish school? Count me in. Woohoo! Good work, Rose. You saved Grandpa. So what? You can have him. Now I'm off to get something even better. A salamander called the human fish. <laughs> the human fish? No, not the human fish. The human fish? Proteus and Guinus. That's the oldest salamander in the world. They only live in Europe, in caves, in the Dinaric Alps. We've got to get there before Zach. Lift off, Jimmy. You got it. Blast off. <laughs> yes, we got here first. There's the cave. This is a little creepy. A lot creepy. But much more cool. There! Proteus Minguinus. Ew, it has no eyes. It doesn't need eyes, because it lives in total darkness. But you can see where the eyes once were. Those two little dots. What are the red fans on the side of his head? Those are external gills. They take oxygen out of the water for him to breathe. And check out the feet. Like little hands. That must be why he got his nickname, 
the human fish. This salamander lives to be over 100 years old. Hey, where's Zack? He should be here by now. Oh no, you beat me! But really, I tricked you! I'm actually going after a much older animal, a big whale of the North Pole! <laughs> the bowhead whales, the oldest living mammal in the world. They live to be over 200 years old and are endangered. These ancient salamanders are safe, but the bowhead whales are in trouble. To the Arctic! That's right, Zackbot. Nice and easy. Lift it! Lift it! Don't drop it! Oh, it's so big and old and big! Over there, it's Zack! And he's got a bowhead whale! We've got to figure out a way to neutralize those Zackbots. Maybe the Tortuga could help with that. Yeah, Jimmy and I have been working on electrical disruptors that tap into the Zackbot's frequency. Let's test it. 